America has long repudiated the horrors of eugenics and of the eugenic movement. But social engineering is alive and well in Utah's abortion clinics and doctor's offices today as we see the eradication of babies with Down syndrome. I have heard some shocking comments. You have received some shocking emails claiming that the Utah legislature is using Down syndrome babies to save the lives of Down syndrome babies. Please think about that for a moment. Some argue that this bill will cost the state of Utah millions if it is challenged in court. But this bill is not unconstitutional as written. The abortion ban portion has a trigger date or a contingent effective date that ties this legislation to fights that are already happening in courts of law. Indiana's abortion ban is currently if they are currently appealing to the Supreme Court and Utah joined 18 other states in an amicus brief that was submitted to the Supreme Court in support of Indiana's Down syndrome abortion ban. I would like to read a short quote from that brief. Quote, the state combating this invidious discrimination by enacting its non-discrimination interests into law sends a powerful signal to members of minority communities that it is inhumane to terminate them, thereby affirming the profound respect that the state holds for all people. As Frank Stevens, a disability rights activist who has Down syndrome, powerfully testified before Congress, and this is still from the brief, quote, a notion is being sold that maybe we don't need to continue to do research concerning Down syndrome. Why? Because there are prenatal screens that will identify Down syndrome in the womb and we can just terminate those pregnancies, end quote. Recent efforts to eliminate Down syndrome are nothing more than people pushing a particular final solution that people with Down syndrome should not exist. End quote. I have heard from many Utah families everywhere I go since I ran this bill last year, people stop me and they say, it happened to me. They tell me their stories about being in a doctor's office, receiving the news that they, their baby had the potential to have Down syndrome. And I cannot tell you how many times I have heard, quote, the first words out of the doctor's mouth was, you need to abort this baby, end quote. Think about that. You've just received news that your child may have Down syndrome. And the first words out of a doctor's mouth are, you need to abort this baby. That is unfathomable to me. This bill seeks to correct that. This bill requires that the health department will create a website that has contact information for national and local Down syndrome foundations and information for parents about Down syndrome. The Down syndrome foundation has an, a new patient coordinator that has interviewed already in Utah hundreds of prospective parents of Down syndrome children. I would also like to inform the body that there is a national Down syndrome adoption network that has parents ready and waiting to adopt babies with Down syndrome. The abortion ban portion, as I said earlier, of this bill is contingently effective on a higher court of jurisdiction deciding on another state's abortion ban. No state money will be tied up in a lawsuit as a result of this bill. And with that, I'm open to questions. 
Thank you, Mr. Speaker.